my home, in my arms of my lovely wife, and in our bed to do a little pillow talk. Okay. So. All right. So here's ugh, our question. Not pillow talk. That reminds me of. Yeah. Some evil. Yeah, okay. those TV shows. This ain't no pillow talk. This CNN talk. Your phone, sweetie? Yeah, I did. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another CNN Talk. CNN Talk is when you guys send us email via this email address and we just respond via video. Our cool way to connect with you guys. Sometimes we don't respond uh, much more than thank you. Is Wait, we forgot to say also Happy New Year. Has it been that long already? Since, yeah, I think so. Because that. Oh gosh, we haven't filmed that I really, I really so miss you. I really miss everybody. Yeah. I would so, like to be on. I would like you to watch more of, of, of us. More CNN talks? Yes. Okay, well, send in more emails and we'll do a lot more CNN talks. Okay. We got. But um, we did want to say Happy New Year. And if you are new, welcome to our channel. This is our section of CNN talks where you guys will send us messages via this email. It can be questions. It can be problems. And we just respond in video form. Sweetie, look at the camera. I was looking at you, but I just, I was mesmerized <laughs> so, by the beauty of my wife. Is that okay? <laughs> so, yeah. We your new hair. Look, at, look at the hairdo that I fixed for her. And that's on what? Yeah. What a credit card can do. $200. Uh, so nice. This is $200. The best $200 that I invested in. Yeah, because so even sweet. Ira was like, uh, what do we Mommy, is one? that you? I know, Ira, Ira said, I'm going to call her Diana. Oh, Diana. So whatever she names it, I get to say it too. Diana. Oh, Diana. Dirty Diana. Oh, Diana. Be dirty, um, Diana. Okay. We're messing up our CNN rest. talk. <laughs> um, CNN Talks is our special segment where we answer you all's emails and we also allow our audience to participate in the comments. But remember to keep it respectful always. Always keep it Just, respectful, or you'll be doing blocked. It, we're doing it right here, where it ha where where everything happens. Where the magic begins. Right here on our bed, and it, if you're not smiling yet, just imagine. Okay, calm down. With okay, all, next. All the magic that happens right here. I would love to share that with you one day. I mean, Kim K blew up by doing that. Is okay, there... we don't want to be Kim K. We don't care. No, but I mean, what if we're no. just half of Kim K? Mm -mm. Just mm -hmm. half, just show them half of this stuff. No. Not the full. Not interested. Okay, can we have a vote out there? Anyone? From, um. She might not want her name said. Okay. So let's make sure. I just want to, I just would Sometimes, like to give some of the nice things that we get said to us. It said, Chris and Nikki, this email is different from the others. Um, I want to say that, that both of you saved me, which is, which is nice. Um. As we are on lockdown from the coronavirus, I wanted to take this time and thank you both for showing the world what love feels like. All we're doing is basically just being ourselves, so it's just nice to be in love anyway. I've never been in love, and when I've stumbled upon your video, it literally saved me. I will not use my real name. Um, I got married after many years of being alone, and I thought that I was marrying the man from heaven, but four months after uh, we got married, the real person showed up, Satan's son. I got disrespected so much and got F you so many times that I thought that my name was F you, which is totally unacceptable. Yeah. I've always wanted to be loved by my, uh, I, I've, I've always wanted to be loved by my mother, but uh, she didn't love me. And when I see both of you and how Chris dotes over you and she dotes over me too, uh, it makes my heart rejoice. I'm a middle-aged lady and I'm a God-fearing woman and he knows that I believe uh, in marriage. He uses that to treat me bad, badly. So Chris, thanks for showing men how they should love their spouses. Whenever I feel down and melancholy, I look at your videos and it uplifts me. Thank which, you. Which is exactly one of the reasons of why we do that. Yeah. We love to, to share and things with, with Ken and, 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 
and will be if you want it to be. We can will things into life. I'm not a bad looking lady, but my, for my age, and many men try to talk to me, but I believe in the sanctity of marriage, and immediately I tell them that I am married. However, it's very hard to live like I am living, but God carries me through. All the profane language, the put downs, etc. And I do believe that God had me to stumble upon you, your video, uh, because it saved my inner peace. And um, we, you, we might have just led you there, but you save yourself. I yeah. promise you. Mm -hmm. you, you, you find the inner strength. I pray that one day that, that I can experience the type of love that Chris has for you. you know? And I, um, I know, I know my, my worth and I'm trying to follow God's success. Uh, if it keeps, I must depart from the good of my inner being and my peace of mind. Keep on being the lovely people that you are. Thanks for saving me. Uh, let's see. I, I watch your videos and it gives me such joy. Uh, I'm going to insert a photo. And she said that um, she wanted to because she wanted to make sure to see if, if she was bad looking and, and why she couldn't be loved. And you can be loved and you're, you're a beautiful lady. And um, 60 years old, I never get any holiday gift or anniversary gifts, and um, which is so easy to, to okay, do. Okay, just finish, sweetie. All you're right. gonna say no, your you comments. You're gonna do that in my ass out, baby. No, I can't. You can't just do that. All right, but let me finish it, it. So whenever I see Chris spoil you, it, wait, you never finished this sentence. I no. never get any gifts. I only did that because you wanted me to hurry, gifts. hurry. No, no, no. I don't want you to hurry. I don't want you to talk after each sentence you read. But, Okay. <laughs> Talk at the she end. She always tries to get to shut me up. So whenever I see Chris spoil, uh, it kills me. So thanks, Chris, for treating Nikki so beautifully and being such a beautiful person, father to all your children, a great example, and provide for your family. I do inspirational videos, and I'm so praying for the universe because we're living in an unknown situation. And um, I'm also inserting a video for us to look at. And thank you in advance. So, oh some? yeah, and the the sentence Chris Smith said, "I never get holiday gifts or anniversary gifts." And I as to that. why he says he does, he doesn't buy me anything because I can get it myself. Which is not anything about whether you can get it yourself. You can get yeah. a lot of things, but sometimes it just means more. You know, just the odd time, the, the a random time that I just give her a a card or send her a note, you know, those things that... Did she say, did she mind us saying her name? She said she wouldn't put her real name, but... Yeah. Okay, yeah. so for this person... But thank you for that. Anyway. Yeah, we first need to just say thank you so much for writing us and... It's so cool, you know, just to, to help the few that we do, and mm -hmm. or the many, whichever, but... Yeah. We enjoy it, and... Uh, and uh, I know she says she knows her worth, did she say she got out of the marriage? Yes. No. No? No. She's, she's still, still there. In. Okay, so... If she's you... not asking us for anything. She's just telling us what's going on. And, yeah. And I can only pray for you and, and say that you deserve uh, more. And, and I'm a big believer in, in, in um, couples therapy, so I would highly recommend that. You know, just uh, sometimes men don't want to hear it from their women, but if they hear it from a third party, uh, it, it'll... At least stick a little bit tighter than from their spouse. I think that it's important to note that I feel like as a society, especially women, we get so confined on like age. Like we oh. get so stuck on age. So she's saying that she's in her 60s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she's almost 60. And I think that she's staying in the situation that she's in because of her age. And I feel like, I don't know, this is just me personally, my personal opinion, you know. I feel like personally, when it comes to men, they're never told or thought to not continue to enjoy life because of their age. Like we all know men can have kids up until the day that they kick the bucket. But women always have it this idea that if you don't do things by a certain age, you're not considered a woman or a woman or a successful or I don't know, but I just feel like it's, it's you lose out on so much in life if you 
restrict things by age. And we get we get many many letters yeah. about age gaps, and I, I, we could answer, or I want to just let you know about a blanket answer to that is that there's no possible way that age uh, should matter when, for example, a good employee who I turned out to be a good friend of mine, 30 years old, got hit by a car 30, and died. Yeah. I mean, it's still younger than me. Yeah. So his girlfriend is, is without her boyfriend, mm -hmm. and, had, and it didn't matter if he was 60 or, or 30. I mean, he's gone now. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't because of his age. I mean, we mm -hmm. don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And if you found somebody you love and are happy with, man, they're, they're, it's priceless. Find your love. Find your happiness. As long as they're of age at that bar. As oh, long yeah, as they yeah. are of age. Yeah. Um, so I feel like you're settling. at the. I know you said that you know your worth, but do you truly know your worth? Do you truly, truly know your worth? Because me just hearing what you wrote to us, I wouldn't assume that you knew your worth based off of allowing someone to call you out of your name. That's not knowing your worth because we are better than that. We're, we're more worthy of just being called by our names. You know what I mean? Every one of us mm -hmm. has a value. We're all so worthy of, of, of being loved and cared about. I mean, we're here. Just think of the, the odds of us not even being alive. I mean, of all the uh, the sperm that, that was flying from my father into my mother, mm -hmm. I happen to be the one that won. So just like you, you are the victor for being alive. So all the other uh, ones that just uh, swam away, you, are, you won the lottery. So you're here. You're special. And I also want to stress that it's not an... I don't see it as a negative to be alone and like just loving you. I know you said that you got married after many years of being alone. Though it's nice to have companionship, mm -hmm. but you, I mean, you can still have companionship in someone who's not even, you're not married to, but yeah. why do we look at it as such a bad thing to not be married? Or, you know what I mean? To, well, because of society, it kind of yeah, throws society, that upon you. Yeah, and I think that sucks. I think it sucks to live to live by those rules and restrictions, me yeah. personally. Because yeah. if I would rather be alone than miserable. No, listen day. to your soul, listen to God. Any Don't day. listen to all the other stuff. Um, That's how we do it. When they ask how we do it, this is how we do it. When this woman is stronger than, than I've ever met, she does it her way and her faith way and... Same as me. And then I want you to also know that um, she said that she's not bad looking and she wants me to see that why she can't be loved. There's someone out there for everyone. I really think a lot of inner healing needs to happen for you to see your worth and know your truly know your worth and leave that marriage. And love yourself. I will love leave yourself. that marriage. I will leave that marriage. But you guys, let us know down below. What but you I'll mean. tell you this, you know, um, and it's 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 a form of abuse, calling you names and all that stuff is unacceptable. And I think God would, uh, you can have any kind of faith, uh, and God's going to believe in you for leaving that. You don't deserve to be called names. You don't deserve it. Period. Mm -hmm. And I think God would understand. No, I I, I believe God understands that. Mm -hmm. That's abuse, and there that's not how I was taught. Anyway. And at this point, I would see it as too, he forced your hand. So he's leaving you no other choice because right. he clearly does not see your worth. So he can feel it. Oh, he will. After you, know, after you leave, then he'll realize it. He'll miss you when you go. But you guys, let us know what you think. Give our writer some advice on what you would do. I personally think she should ditch her marriage. Or, I mean, first try a couple Therapy, of yeah. Get some counseling. But, I mean, the way she described this I don't see it happening. Well, sometimes men uh, will go as far as the woman will allow them to go. Oh, yeah. I and, believe and, that. And, and, yeah. Because uh, the, the person, the, all people will only do to you what you allow. Yeah. Oh, and, and Nikki put me in check early. And when I've realized that nothing's going to, this is the line. And if I want to be here, I'm going to hold that line. So mm -hmm. you can put them in check. I promise you. Yeah. And it, it doesn't mean the man's weak. It just means they understand the rules. So. Okay. 
I think we touched on everything as far as her. As for well. her I do want to just say thank you again for watching our videos and I'm happy that they lift your spirits. Okay, so this is our from our next writer. So this is from Kimmy. I think we can say her name because it's nothing super personal. Hello, Chris and Nikki. Can you give some business tips on your channel? I have dabbled in a few businesses in hopes of being able to work for myself and being able to support my family at the same time. I tried to start businesses that didn't require a large startup cost and I'm not interested in taking out many loans. My goal is to be a successful, debt-free entrepreneur. The problem is I have found that my businesses aren't bringing in enough for me to quit my nine to five. I'm constantly using my nine to five as a crutch to make sure that I can pay my bills and have insurance. My issue is I have faith and I want to step out on faith. However, I am afraid I won't bring in enough to take care of my kids and responsibilities. As successful business owners, do you have any business startup tips? How did how long did it take for you guys to begin profiting from your business endeavors? Many thanks. God bless you all. Kimmy. So first off, Kimmy, thank you so much for writing us and for giving us a new topic. We've never talked on business. Yeah, no, I don't I, think we've ever spoken about business. I, and I love it because it's something that, that school never teaches you. The things that I've learned, oh, you're gosh. not going to learn in school. Let's talk about it, okay? Yeah, and and uh, actually, uh, I almost think that they uh, purposely uh, do not teach it because they don't want everybody to go after the, uh, the, the, the stars. Mm -hmm. Because they, they want uh, people to, to get in the mentality that they have to work for somebody else and uh, and and not feel the 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 power to believe in yourself and uh, and I thank my father for that. I was blessed to have him teach me, but I would love to to teach you and anybody else that, that that's interested. But the the but it's not anything glamorous. You know, it's not going to. Uh, you have to. You first have to change your 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 thought process, and not worry about what um, others have and what others um, look like. And and uh, and you got to realize that, like this, ten years goes by, twenty years go by. I can tell you that I feel like I played football five years ago, but it's been twenty five years ago, if not thirty, to be honest. Yeah. And uh, when you realize that time flies, you're not going to worry about what's going to happen that five years seems so long ago. Get in your mindset, live below your means, mm -hmm. number one, mm -hmm. and focus on your future. Mm -hmm. Living in the moment is not going to gain you anywhere, but just in deeper debt. Mm -hmm. If you can just remember that you want to have a better life when you get older, focus on that because... The people nowadays just want to live in the moment. I am here now today where I'm at because I started. Now, my parents had plenty of money. I could have used any money. They, they, they showered with me. They wanted to give me money all day long, but I wanted to earn it myself. I, I, my very first home was in a mobile home. I lived in a trailer park. It happened to be my father's trailer park, but I paid rent. I bought the home myself. I saved all my extra money. I was going to be ready for when that opportunity became. So the only way you can be ready to leave your nine to five job, to be ready for it, to take that jump is when you prepare yourself. It's going to take faith, but it's going to take more than that as well. So that would be that in a nutshell. And then Nikki, which I've learned a ton about life stories from Nikki but and and I, I think that she's learned some things financially for me. Yeah, I think too that um completely forgot to add that in order to make money you have to spend money. So I know you said you didn't want to take out additional loans and things, but usually some sacrifices have to be made. You always just have to think smart and always have a a plan B, a, a backup plan. I what stands out to me most is that you said um, you want to quit your nine to five and you had startup businesses, but they're not bringing in enough. First, find off what is your passion? What is something you are 
truly passionate about because if you're passionate about something I don't care how long it takes for you to get to the top or get to where you want to be you're gonna work hard until it is where you want to be you know what I mean with, with, yeah. when it's something that's your passion well, well, I'm watching that with Nikki right now. I'm not going to go into the detail, but yeah. I told her, I said, you can do this. Mm -hmm. Nikki. You just believe in yourself. This can happen. And anything that you want to last forever, remember, it's going to take time. Anything that you want to last forever, you cannot rush it. So don't think that being a, sex, a successful entrepreneur doesn't have its downfalls or its, it's, it's dark days because I think... That's a part of your success story. That's a part of, I mean, you have to have failures in order to win or failures in order to learn. You know what I mean? So, um, why is it getting dark? I don't know. But, Dad, but I just want to know if, they, if, if, well, let me remind you, you said hold something on, about on, sex. Hold on. Hold on. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. A Freudian slip, you slip when you said, you said, uh, you said sex and you caught yourself. Got it on tape so I can prove it. Okay. So I would always say go with what your passion is. But also maintaining my nine to five because sometimes you have to bring in some money somewhere else in order to fund your your dream. Um, and I don't always think that that's a bad thing to have. And, and if you have cars. family that, that believes in Just you. Just cut me you. off. Oh, yeah. I did. <laughs> I always think it's a good idea. All entrepreneurs have multiple streams of income. So... Chris always says, be diverse in your business. So, any tips for startup businesses? Well, uh, the startup businesses. It depends it, it on what depends. it is. Yeah, it yeah. really does. If you want to give us some d uh, more detailed uh, examples or what you're thinking about, just email us back. I'll be happy to respond. Yeah. But it, 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 it all depends on what you're focused on. I think one of the tips, we actually gave out a tip in our blog where we bought a home behind the park that we sold. Um, is to play Monopoly if you're into the real estate business but to play Monopoly start off small and just slowly add to and build up is how oh, I, I, I learned a lot not only from my father but from playing Monopoly believe, it, believe me as far as the real mm -hmm. estate world you can learn a lot from that mm -hmm. how long did it take for you to begin profiting from your business endeavors my very first deal um was a, a, a big money success. So, I mean, it was right off the bat. It didn't take me long at all. Yeah, not everybody has that story. No, that, that's... Or are that lucky, but... Yeah. Um, I, I, my father always told me, you it's better to be lucky than good. And it helps to be both, but uh, l lucky has a lot to do with it. Timing has everything to do with it. So it's just, just but never giving up. In your heart, never quit, ever. And no matter what t and how long it takes, just just believe in yourself. And it, it's, I, I just wish you the best. Everybody that really wants to win, win, baby, win. I also think that um, having budgets, I don't know, like a, um, a startup budget could help you too. I don't know what the business that you're going into. Um, but you can learn so much on YouTube now. I mean, yeah, you know, whatever honestly. your industry or your your uh, interest is just uh, learn. I, I'm telling you this, you know, my passion was real estate and I read everything that I could mm -hmm. on real estate, every different form. I had the inside self storage. I had the uh, land developer. They, they got magazines for everything. And I would read and read and read. I love to read on how other people did it. I love autobiographies on, on, on how other uh, successful um, developers have made it. So th that's important. And also remember to never compare your journey to another. I know you asked how long did it take to begin profit. Because we all it, have different questions in life. So, yeah. It yeah. all depends on what it is that you're doing and honestly how you go about it. I love what I saw today actually. It said um, stop trying to copy other people's lives because every life has a different question. So what you're copying is, is their answers to a different question than yours. Answer your question in life mm -hmm. and focus on yours. Well, that's a good one. That's true. So um, clearly the camera overheated and died at this point, but thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in our next CNN Talk. Remember to email us more business questions. We'd be happy to answer.